celebrate the release of the new City Connect jerseys for the Seattle Mariners, they put on an event down at Pier 62 on the waterfront in Seattle. This event was to show off all of the new things with the City Connect stuff, as well as kind of connect the Mariners to the community a little bit more than they already were. Naturally, I was interested in going, but at the same time, I Bruh. wasn't sure if I wanted to make the trek down there. That was until I saw that Harold Reynolds was going to be there. Former Mariner Harold Reynolds, I've been watching him for years, man. Harold Reynolds was one of the guys on MLB Network that always got me super, super excited for baseball. And while some people don't love Harold Reynolds, there's just such a nostalgia with Reynolds for me that brings me back to years and years ago when I would watch MLB Network every day before school. That was my goal, to go to the party at the pier and meet Harold Reynolds. Little did I know, there was going to be a few snafus in there. For every great plan, such as this one, there is a checklist that you need to follow. A guideline, if you will, that's going to get you to your final goal, in this case, meeting Harold Reynolds. Step one, of course, drive to Seattle, get to Pike Place Market, and then get down to the waterfront. Hey, step one, complete. Honestly, pretty easy. Was I prepared for steps two through four? Well, not necessarily. The original post from the Mariners about Party at the Pier listed Harold Reynolds, Mariners broadcasters, and the Mariners Moose going to be at Party at the Pier. So I went into it thinking that's all it was going to be. But then all of a sudden, is, is that Cal Raleigh? Yes, Pat Colton. That is indeed Cal the Big Dumper Raleigh. So now... I gotta figure out how the heck I'm gonna meet Cal Raleigh on top of meeting Harold Reynolds. This adds a whole new wrinkle to the plan. Apparently, the Mariners changed it from it being former All-Star Harold Reynolds, Mariners broadcasters, and the Mariner Moose, to appearances by Cal Raleigh, former All-Star Harold Reynolds, Mariners broadcasters, and the Mariner Moose. I didn't see that, so I didn't know that Cal was gonna be there. Yeah, Colton. No, this isn't, this isn't weird at all. Just walking by, videotaping this guy randomly on the side, and not looking creepy while doing it. Really good job. Also, I have to put different music in the background because all of this music they're playing is copyright, so forgive me if there are some parts that sound weird. Uh, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do that, but that would be really, really funny. The line to meet Cal Raleigh was already long, and it was only getting longer. And we started to head that way, but then... Astros fans. What were they doing at the party at the pier? The Mariners party at the pier. I was too afraid to walk up to them and ask why they weren't wearing any Mariners City Connect gear. So instead, I talked to this seagull. Idiot. Why aren't you wearing City Connect stuff? Idiot. I'm not going to lie. I was already pretty nervous to meet Harold Reynolds. And then you bring the guy in who ended the playoff drought. Yeah, I was super nervous, but it was just time to put up or shut up. So we went and got in line. Same lady. Same. The way it was working is you would walk up, you would hand your item to Cal Raleigh, you would hand your phone over to a lady taking pictures. Once he was done signing, you guys would look up and you guys would get a picture taken with Cal Raleigh. And that was that. You only had a few seconds to say what you wanted to say to Cal. And so I was just going to tell him how much I appreciated him. How much I appreciate everything that he has done for the Mariners, including ending the drought. For someone who doesn't remember the playoffs in 2001, what do you say to a guy who finally sent you to that moment? How do I explain all of that in just a few seconds? How you doing, Cal? Good, man, good. And there's a bunch of tests with a bunch of different Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. All, all, I, all I said was, hey, how's it going? And appreciate it. I got stage fright. But you know what? If nothing else, it's another thing checked off of our list on our way to meeting Harold Reynolds. Little did I know that step four, we were going to be meeting another Mariners legend. But first, step three. Lunch. On our way to lunch, while we listen to the DJ jam out, 
we saw this guy painting this mural of Julio Rodriguez. This is Andrew at Train Kicks over on Instagram. This guy is incredibly talented. Our stomachs took us to fishermen's down on the waterfront. But there was something that we had to do along the way. And that was stop at the Simply Seattle store. You guys know our sponsor, Simply Seattle. You know we had to go in there and hang out with them. I hadn't been down to the waterfront in a while, so we went into all the little shops, including the Yield Curiosity Shop, one of my favorite places in Seattle. We ate some lunch. I had to stop myself from riding the carousel. And then it was back to Pier 62. While I was gone, things had kind of gotten out of hand at Pier 62. The Mariner Moose was trying to do the speed pitch, which he was not very good at. The DJ was playing smooth jazz. And rumor was that a new Mariners legend was going to be there shortly. Yeah, yeah, look at this plan. I'm Colton. I didn't know it was going to be war. That's right. The man himself, Rick Riz, the man with all the Riz, was there. And fortunately, it wasn't that hard to be able to meet him because there was nobody in line. What the heck, guys? This is Rick Riz, the voice of the Seattle Mariners. This man needs to be in the Mariners Hall of Fame, and let me tell you, he is one of the nicest guys on the frickin' planet. I've had the pleasure of meeting Rick a few different times, and he's always so generous with his time. And the fact that there was no line to be able to meet Rick Riz, honestly, kind of makes me sad. How do you like the City Connect uniform? How'd you like the uniform? You do, yeah? How do you feel about the black pants? I like the bio bias side. Oh yeah, that's a uh, big tribute to Dave. I was also a little bit less nervous to meet Rick, because again, I've met him multiple times before, and I realized I didn't really say much to Cal, so I had to talk to Rick. Rick, right. thank you for everything you do, man. We appreciate thank you. Thank you for being a man. Yeah, absolutely, you're great, man. Thank you. That's my dad, Jeff. Steps one through four were in the rear view mirror, and that left just one step left meeting Harold Reynolds. I could definitely feel a sense of confidence coming from talking to Rick compared to talking with Cal. So I knew that talking to Harold Reynolds would be hopefully a little bit easier. And steps two and steps four led me to that. I just can't be awkward around Harold. I can't. Maybe you didn't catch it on the way up to meet Rick Riz, but yeah, his face was right there on that sign. The time was coming soon to meet Harold Reynolds. <laughs> was that Harold wasn't going to be there until 4 p.m. That's what we were told. So we had a little bit of time. We went and grabbed a drink over at the pop-up bar on Pier 62, and then we had to go check in on Andrew to see the progress he'd made on the Julio mural. The Manor Moose was still trying to be like Andres Munoz on the mound and failing epically. 4 o'clock rolled around, and it was time to get in line to go meet Harold Reynolds. Finally, I've been waiting all day for this. And then 4.10 rolled around. And then 4.15 rolled around. And little did I know, there was going to be one more snafu in my quest to meet Harold Reynolds. Apparently, the Mariners had gone out on a boat, and that included Harold Reynolds for the beginning of boating season in Seattle. And they weren't back yet. And by the time it was 4.20, 4.25, 4.30... I was starting to lose out hope. There were talks that Harold might not be able to make it until later tonight, and I wasn't going to be able to stay there all day. And then it started to rain, which, if that's not a sign, I don't know what is. It seemed like maybe my quest to meet Harold Reynolds had failed. But you know what? We still had a really, really good day, including meeting Cal Raleigh, meeting up with Rick Riz, hanging out with some great Mariners fans, going out by the waterfront. All in all, the day was still pretty good. But as Mariners fans... We know how to persevere. And while we sang Sweet Caroline in the Rain, it happened. Around 4.30, Harold was finally able to make it. Everybody cheered when Harold walked in, and I was just a few minutes away from meeting an idol of mine from my childhood. I wasn't going to be awkward this time. At least, that's what I told myself. I'd practiced all day with Cal and Rick and the Seagull. We're ready for this. We're ready to meet Harold Reynolds. Harold, how you doing, man? Good, man. Good to meet you. you? Good. How was the boat? It was good. Yeah? Cold? Long. Was it long? Yeah. It looked fun, let me tell you. <laughs> it wasn't terribly cold. Yeah. Actually, the sun came out. Yeah, did it, yeah, it started to get a little warm here for a bit. Thank you. We did it. 
it took a lot. It really did. We got to see Andrew painting. We got to talk to a seagull. We got to hang out with a bunch of Mariners legends. But in the end, we finally got to meet Harold Reynolds. Certainly a day I will not forget. A great day to be a Mariners fan. And hopefully the Mariners put on more events like this. And if they do, I'll see you there.